Afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. So it's a nice overcast Friday. It's not unbearably hot. And I've got a really, really cool engine run to do for you today. This is gonna be the oldest engine that I've ever attempted to run. And if this engine actually dates back to the time period I think it is, that would be make it 61 years old. This is my Mel Anderson designed Bob McCord Spitfire 65 RC engine. Picked it up off of eBay and it was in perfect shape luckily for me. They never ran it at the factory so it looks just like it did the first day that it came from the factory. It's got great compression and it's in excellent shape. Turns over well. So this is going to be the first time, first maybe only time that I run it because I anticipate this thing being very loud in fact. I'm prepared today. I've actually got my hearing protection. Um, it came with a very old prop too, which was an Olsen Rice 14.6, but I decided not to try to run it with that because after all it is a 65 and I don't think we run too many modern 60 size engines with a 14.6 prop. But I did want to keep a fairly large prop on it because I have no idea what the RPM uh, range of this engine is. So I've got a wood 13.6 prop on here and I have the original glow plug in here I'm gonna run this as close to original as possible meaning it's gonna have this original glow plug which glows fine and I've got a tank full not full but a tank with some Morgan's Omega control line fuel in it and the control line fuel blend is 10% nitro 22% oil and 50% of the oil content is castor, the other 50% is synthetic. So I figure that'll probably be acceptable for this one run. If I decide to do any other runs with this thing, then maybe I'll add some additional castor, but I had this tank already filled up, or it had fuel left in it from when I was running another engine, so I figured I'll just run this out. So, pretty excited. You all ready to blow some eardrums out because I certainly am. Let's do it.
there you have it. It is a little humid out here because I'm starting to sweat now. Interesting run. It runs, obviously. Runs pretty well for its age, I guess. I wouldn't really expect much more than that. Like I said, I have no idea the type of RPM it's supposed to turn. Uh, but as you can see, it did run, and unfortunately, because I had my hearing protection in, I didn't actually get to feel the full power of the sound coming out of it, which is probably a good thing. Rather warm, that's to be expected. So I don't know if I'll be running this ever again or not, or if I'm just gonna oil it up and put it on display. I don't really know that there's much of a point in me running this again. I've proven that the original glow plug works and the engine does run. And like I said, it runs pretty well considering its age and the fact that I have no baseline for how it should run anyway. There's no idle adjustment on it. So, actually, oh, it's an air bleed. I didn't even attempt to do anything with the air bleed because that screw is so damn small and very, very close to the prop. And quite honestly, I forgot there was even an air bleed there. So I was not gonna attempt to mess with that at all. I think I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish with this engine, which was to get it running and make a video of it running so I could share it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.